Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will review the interaction of PowerDB and the TTRU3. Let's get started. Once you have PowerDB open, we need to click on the TTRU3. As you can see, since I use it pretty often myself, it's under my favorites, but if it's the first time you're running PowerDB in your computer, you can find the TTRU3 under Transformer and Power Factor test sets. So let's go ahead and click it. First prompt the software will ask you to confirm is to select a form. There is a combined three phase turns ratio and winding resistance form. So we're gonna go ahead and select that one. I want to save changes to a previous file I had open. And the software will open the form once again. This is a winding resistance and turns ratio. Since we're only working with the TTRU3, a TTR uh, instrument, I'm gonna go ahead and disable the winding resistance part. So I go to the settings. As you can see, TTRU3 is selected. That's fine. I go to test sections. I'm going to disable all the windings, I don't need those for now, and I'm going to enable primary tabs to secondary nominal as well. So I'll accept these changes, and those sections will be enabled. As you can see, this is a pretty standard PowerDB form, it includes identification information. In our case, a nameplate for the transformer under test transformer and test conditions and below we get our test section now there are two ways that PowerDB will interact with the TTRU3 the first one is importing data that you have in a, either in the unit itself or in a USB drive or directly controlling the instrument from PowerDB. That is an optional feature for both the TTRU3 Advanced and Pro version. If you have the expert version of the TTRU3, this is a standard feature. So let's go ahead and try to import data first from a file. When you export data from the TTRU3, as covered in a different video, you will get a CSV file. So I have that already here in my computer. So I'm going to say I want to import data from a file. Once again, you can also directly import from the TTRU3 memory. I'm going to click on import file. And again, I already have this in my computer. It has to be as the CSV file. So I'll select it. We can open the software will read everything on that uh, file so as you can see I have five measurements from a DTC a primary tabs five positions to secondary nominal I have my voltages all the data so I'm going to select all of them click on the first shift down and transfer all five to this section in the bottom so then I click OK it will ask me to confirm if I want to transfer these values to the form I say yes and everything will be filled out so now I now I can just fill out my nameplate with the correct information and my report will be ready so now that I have the, the data imported, I can just save the file and I'll be good to go. Let's go back to the home screen to try now to directly control the unit from the software. So same form, I don't want to save changes. Make sure I only have TTR sections enabled. And 
then let's go ahead and click any of the tests that I would like to run. It will obviously depend on what uh, tab you're on at the moment. So let's start with number one. Again, since you are testing directly, TTR PowerDB will call up the TTRU3 user interface, perform the test, and present you with the results. And you can just save this or close the window. The results will be transferred to the form. I'm getting an error calculation because I did not fill out my nameplate. So this is pretty much the way you interact or control the TTRU3 directly from PowerDB. If you have watched any of the other TTRU3 videos, you know that this is the standard user interface for the TTRU3. So PowerDB is just calling that up to perform the measurements. And once you close this window, when you're happy with the results, it will transfer back the data to PowerDB. So you can continue testing all the different tabs of your transformer. This concludes TTRU3 PowerDB interaction. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any question you may need for your electrical testing.